Welcome! In case you aren't yet aware, this guide is meant to demonstrate how to downpatch or revert to earlier versions of Hollow Knight using the Steam console. First and foremost, I recommend visiting the speedrun.com guide to downpatching, which will have relevant information on console commands for all the patches and the entire downpatching process. The link to this guide will be in the description below. First, as mentioned, you'll want to go to the speedrun.com guide. Simply open a browser of your choice and navigate to speedrun.com slash hollow knight and click as I do so here, or you can just go to the description and click the link. Once you're in this guide, as mentioned, you'll want to go and open the Steam console if it isn't available already. The first method to do this described in this guide at least on Windows operating systems, is to press the Windows key and R, which will open up a run dialog, and then type steam colon forward slash forward slash nav forward slash console. Or you could just paste it from the guide itself here into this box, and then it will open the console in Steam. Now the second method to do this is in the browser instead you'll want to type steam colon forward slash forward slash open forward slash console and then press enter and open with steam and that will achieve the same thing. Once you're in the console you can look at the speedrun.com guide for the list of commands that will download each of the specific patches. These will also be pasted in the description below if you prefer to copy them from there. In this guide, I will be using patch 1.2.2.1 as an example. So, copy the command for the patch you want to download, making sure to only download, or rather only copy, starting from this download depot and not including the patch number or the colon in the selected text. So copy the command and then paste it into the bar at the bottom of the console and then just press enter. When you've done that, Steam will begin downloading the patch. I will note here that the download takes quite a while to complete. For me it can take upwards of 30 minutes, so just wait for a good while and try not to mess with Steam in the meantime. Once the download has finished, there will be a message in the console to indicate it so just wait until that appears. I'll cut the video here and skip forward until the download finishes on my end. Now that the download is complete, you will see a message like this. The file directory listed is where the downloaded patch is located. Navigate there and you can copy all of the files inside the depot folder. From here there are two methods to install the patch. I will first go over the easier method, which will replace the game files of the current patch. First you will need to navigate to the directory for Hollow Knight. I will include the default locations of the game folder in the description so you can navigate to it. But another easy way to get there is to right click Hollow Knight in the Steam library click on Properties, Local Files, then Browse Local Files. Once you're here, then you can just paste these files here into this Hollow Knight game directory. And that'll take a bit of time. And yes, replace the files in the destination. And once this paste is complete, then you will be able to run the older patch you've downloaded simply by pressing play on this Hollow Knight game in the Steam library. Now while this is still pasting, I'll go over the second way. Now this method to install the older patch preserves the current patch's files if you did not copy over them as I'm doing right now, and also allows you to have multiple patches easily accessible through Steam. For this reason, I recommend this second method, even though it takes a little bit more work to set up. First, create a folder in any location you want. I'm going to use the desktop. There we go. And name it anything you want. I'm going to name it Hollow Knight 1.2.2.1 because that's the patch I'm going to be installing. So, go into this folder and again paste these downloaded patches inside it. 
and that'll take some time as well. And further inside this folder, you'll want to right click and make a new text document. You'll want to name this Steam underscore app ID. And now that you have this text document, you will want to open it and inside just type the numbers 367520 and save control s close it and that's all you need to do now i need to wait for the file explorer to paste these but once that's done i'll come back and show that both these methods work now while this is pasting i will also go over the way to get this into the Steam library so you can easily click play and access it from Steam. So I'll go to games, add a non-Steam game to my library, browse, and then go to wherever you put this uh, downloaded stuff. So Hollow Knight 1.2.1, .1. select this executable, open, and then add select programs. And here we go. And if you want to rename it, you can just right click, click properties. I'll name it Hollow Knight 1.2.2.1. .1. There we go. And you know, you can set categories, I guess. Why not do whatever you want with it? And now, once obviously the files are done pasting, you can click play in Steam here to run the 1.2.2.1 .1 patch or whatever patch you've installed. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna wait for these to download and then I'll come back to you. Just waiting on this one. Alright, so now all of the files have been downloaded and since I performed both of these methods both of these games are going to be 1.2.2.1 at this point, so if I open them, they'll both be the downpatched versions. Now, I said before, I recommend the second method of creating a new folder separate from the current patch. First of all, because that allows you to play either the current patch or the downpatched version whenever you wish. And secondly, it allows you to just repeat that process I described to make new folders and download different patches. For example, if you wanted to download 1.0.2.8, you could just repeat the process and have another folder here. You could also just make a folder, name it something, and put all these patches in and organize it if you want. And so that second method really allows you to basically have full control over whatever patches you want to download and play any of them whenever you want. And that's pretty much it. I hope this has been helpful to anyone who has been wondering about or struggling with downpatching the game. Hopefully this guide has been of use and have fun in Hallow Nest.